So, you've decided to become a waitress. Congratulations and welcome. You've made a wise decision. The food service business is hospitality. But the hospitality business isn't the building, the decorations, or cost accounting. It's people. And in no industry is success or failure so dependent upon people as it is in the restaurant business. You are those people. You who are about to embark on a new career, certainly a new way of life. The success or failure of our business depends a great deal on you. If you think your job will be simple, you're mistaken. If you believe it will be rewarding, both in personal satisfaction and financially, you are quite right. You need bring no previous experience to the job, for we'll teach you. Teach you not only how to perform the duties required, but why you perform them in a certain way. The way most certain to obtain the best results for both of us. As you begin your new career, you will often be tired, perhaps a little scared, and sometimes discouraged. We all were when we first started. But by way of encouragement, let us see how a real professional would do the job. We'll call our model waitress Florence, because her technique is based upon that of a successful waitress of the same name. Well, let's start by imagining that you are a customer instead of a trainee. You, your husband, and children are being served by Florence. No doubt you've already noticed Florence's neatness and warm smile. More than anything else, Florence's smile indicates her sincere desire to please. She may have problems of her own, but she brings only her alert mind and her smile to work with her. You've already noticed the special attention Florence has paid to your baby, the high chair, offering to heat the milk or baby food if you so desire and went to a restaurant and have someone suggest the specialty of the house? You didn't realize Florence was suggesting a long profit item which could be served the quickest, resulting in greater customer turnover at her station. But that is part of her job. You probably noticed the extreme care with which Florence writes out your order. A well-written sales check can speed service to you while eliminating mistakes in the kitchen. And was that a smile of appreciation you wore when Florence served your first cup of coffee while you waited for your order? Of course it was, because everything Florence has done for you, from double-checking the silverware on your table to assure its spotlessness, to this thoughtful serving of coffee, has made you feel welcome. Prompt, courteous service is Florence's motto. You are more important than an exchange of greetings or a conversation with other girls about to go on duty. And whenever she's notified your food order is ready, she serves it, even if she has to excuse herself in the midst of taking another order. What's this? Your husband unhappy? He ordered his sandwich without mayonnaise? And when Florence returned to politely inquire, is everything all right? He brusquely states, I ordered my sandwich without mayonnaise. Florence knows how to handle this complaint. She knows better than to argue. She knows the management will pay the cost. So, with a smile, she corrects the error. Florence has learned to do this with perfect graciousness. Now that your meal has been completed, Florence suggests dessert. This suggestive selling has put Florence in the top ten of customer sales. And she was right. It was good. You did enjoy it. Especially with the ice cream Florence never fails to suggest. After the meal, you and your husband were so happy with the way Florence had served you, you naturally left her a sizable tip. Yes, Florence's is a real success story. Occasionally she does make mistakes, but we're proud of the way she corrects them. With her sincere attitude, she has never failed to make a friend or well-wisher of her customer. When a guest is left, Florence quietly removes the soiled dishes and restores the table to gleaming perfection. She acknowledges her next customers, so they'll know she's thinking of them, though busy elsewhere. Florence decided to become a waitress several years ago. Of course she's happy, she's come a long way, and she's learned a lot. 
She made it a point to become informed about her organization, knew its background and history, so that when patrons inquired, she could answer with a sense of pride all questions regarding her restaurant. Florence is a great competitor in the third largest industry in the United States. The American people spend billions of dollars a year eating out, and the restaurants that enjoy a large part of this dining patronage are those that practice the ABCs of successful restaurant operation. Here they are. A, good food. B, cleanliness. C, prompt, courteous service. As you shall see, they concern you directly, and all the training you receive will be directed toward achieving perfection in these areas. Good food, of course, is management's responsibility. The preparation and seasoning of the food are duties of the kitchen personnel. Cleanliness is the concern of management and all employees. Part of your duties will be to keep your station fresh and spotless, but your greatest concern with cleanliness is personal hygiene. Prompt courteous service is entirely dependent on you, the waitress. Fundamental to your success as a waitress is your appearance. It reflects your inner attitude and reveals your true interest in your guests and your job. On duty, the uniform must be clean and fresh at all times. The apron should be wiped clean or changed immediately if it becomes soiled. Wear proper shoes and keep them clean and polished. Hose must be worn at all times. Makeup should emphasize naturalness. And hairdress should be becoming and not elaborate in style. An invisible hairnet must be worn and checked frequently to see that hair stays inside the net. Earrings and other flashy ornaments are not permitted while on duty. It's easy to see why fingernails must be kept clean and well manicured and the hands kept washed with soap and water. A colorless or conservative shade of nail polish is permissible. When on duty, always have a clean hanky. As to personal hygiene, teeth should be well brushed and a good mouthwash should be used. Bathe daily and ensure personal sanitation by wearing clean undergarments. Shampoo your hair frequently. Avoid wave-setting solutions that flake. All of these preparations should add up to this, not this. You are management's personal representative to the dining public. It is important for us that you be a most attractive representative. To keep attractive, check on your appearance frequently during the day. Remember, you are on parade. So much for appearance. Now, what about cardinal rule number three? Prompt, courteous service. This one mostly concerns you, and it's not as simple to satisfy as it sounds. It involves the entire procedure of your service to the customer, from your first greeting to your final thank you come in again when he departs. We have such a procedure, tried and tested over the years. We want you to learn it step by step, word for word. In brief, it goes like this. Greet your customer with a smile. Say good morning or good afternoon, whichever it may be. Set a full glass of water near his right hand and inquire, may I help you? If the customer hesitates or seems in doubt, suggest a food item. This you must do clearly and intelligently. A thorough knowledge of the menu and its contents will give you this ability. As the order is given to you, it must be written down in full detail, showing exactly what the customer wants and how he would like it prepared. Be sure to complete the important customer information at the bottom of the check. After the order has been turned in, return to your guest at your first opportunity and provide him with the necessary service, which you check for spotlessness. If the guest desires it, serve him his first cup of coffee at this time. Whenever you are notified that an order is ready, stop all other activities and serve the food immediately. This will ensure that the customer will get his hot foods hot and his cold foods cold. If another patron has taken a seat at one of your tables, acknowledge his presence. Tell him, I'll be with you in just a moment. After the guest has started his meal, return and while filling his water glass, inquire, is everything all right? There are two reasons for this procedure. First, it shows the guest that you are thinking of his enjoyment of the meal. Second, if something is wrong, it should be corrected immediately. If a customer is not satisfied with a food item, apologize for the error and exchange it cheerfully and without delay. We do not want this. We have never won an argument and kept a customer, and we're sure you won't either. Furthermore, please don't try. 
an efficient, well-trained waitress contributes greatly to the success of her restaurant. One way you can do this is by the use of suggestive selling. Here's how. If the customer has failed to order dessert, return to him after the entree is finished and suggest an attractive dessert, possibly the specialty of the house. This often influences the customer's choice. Furthermore, if the customer orders something like pancakes, it's natural to suggest bacon, eggs, or ham. If he orders fried eggs, suggest bacon, ham, or sausage. If he orders pie, suggest a la mode. The best kind of suggestive selling is based on the customer's likes and dislikes. In either case, learn to describe food temptingly, such as, we have delicious fresh strawberry pie today, so that the customer may have the fullest enjoyment of his meal. Remember also that the higher the check, the greater the tip is likely to be. When all the food has been served, the guest check is laid face down on the table to the right of the patron. If there is a group and the host has not been indicated, place the check towards the center of the table. And while we're on the subject of the sales check, here are two important points to remember. One, no food will be served to a customer until it has first been added to a sales check. Two, you are responsible for lost sales checks that have been assigned to you. To make your work a great deal easier, visualize yourself as a member of a team. This is the team. For this team to turn out and serve many hundreds of excellent meals in a hurry each day requires a strict and undeviating routine that must be followed. The operational flow for turning in your orders may vary from restaurant to restaurant, but these simple rules cover any and all kitchen operations. Be courteous. Take your turn in ordering and collecting orders. Cooperate with the kitchen staff. This is nothing more than common courtesy in action, coupled with the sincere desire to be one of the team. We insist that you practice it. For without it, there would be chaos in the kitchen, and prompt courteous service would become impossible. This is not a team functioning. It is a business disintegrating. And speaking of courtesy, please remember that this means courtesy to your fellow workers as well as the guests. Courtesy is the keynote of the restaurant business and should be sincerely extended to everyone. Practice it. Make it a habit. It'll make you happier. Now that we've been through the course, let's check some additional points important to your career. As young ladies of good taste, we know you would never be guilty of these unhappy negatives. One, have alcohol on your breath. Two, fiddle with your hair, face, or handkerchief. Three, eat, smoke, chew gum, or consume beverages. Four, use loud or profane language. Five, engage in horseplay. Six, gossip or criticize fellow employees or the management. In your relationships with your fellow workers, these are important points to remember. One, pay attention when suggestions are made. Two, observe carefully, make questions unnecessary. Three, be prompt, report on schedule. Four, if unable to report, phone your manager in time. Five, lend a helping hand. You may need one next time. They are the trademarks of the true professional. Remember, if you have any grievances, talk them over with your manager. If you will set yourself to the task of learning your job as we've shown it to you, you too, like our model waitress, will be amply rewarded, both in career satisfaction and financially. You've chosen this business because you like being with people, serving them and making new friends. The opportunity for all of this is here in your new job. So make the most of it. We know you'll be successful. <laughs>